Hello everybody, how is it going? It is Billy and I'm back with another commentary and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And this game here, um, the people we're playing against were talking some mad shit in the, in the lobby. I hopped in for like the last minute of the previous game and they were just talking mad shit to these two kids on my team who, quite frankly, were terrible. And so I, I really tried to carry the team and it comes down to a really exciting ending and I'll let you guys see how that one plays out. If you'd like to wait around that long. Um, because the commentary's done now. See you guys later. I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> There's gonna be commentary for the whole thing. But, what I don't understand is... Man, how come everybody has to be haters, man? All the time on Call of Duty. Like, why can't you just get along with people, man? It doesn't matter how good someone is. I mean, granted, I don't want a terrible person on my team. But I'm not gonna talk shit to a terrible person, especially if they're on the other team in my lobby. I'd like to make nice, decent conversation with them because, quite frankly, I'd want them to stick around and uh, and bolster my KD and my win loss a little bit. Um, but man, people are just always fucking haters, like for no apparent reason. It's just like they're, it's like a pissing competition. And watch, I shoot this guy right in the head and he doesn't die. That's some bullshit. Um, but yeah, it's like a fucking pissing contest. Like, who gives a shit if your KD is higher than this person's or or whatnot? Because for all you know, that person with a lower KD might just have a lower KD than you because um he only has one hand and he's playing with his face. Now you feel like an asshole, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you're an asshole. And who knows, maybe he just doesn't play a lot because he's really fucking good at something else like baseball and he's playing in college and practices all the time, doesn't have a lot of time to practice Call of Duty. See, he's more talented at something else than you are, and that's just the thing. Like, you don't gotta make fun of somebody for Call of Duty, because, quite frankly, it's a useless fucking skill. It really is, unless you're playing professionally and you're making money doing it, which at that point, it's not really based on your skill, it's based on skill as an entire team, which has a lot to do with, you know, call-outs and, and knowing where to be at what times and strategies. So it's not just you on the team, everybody on the team is good. So, I, I, I don't get it. Like, why why do you feel the need to just always talk shit to kids in lobbies? And I can understand talking shit to someone who had just begun talking shit to you. You have a right to defend yourself. And I came to this game, he's like, you know what, man, these kids are talking shit to these other little kids on my team who aren't very good. I'm going to try and bring this team back for a win. And it's going to be wonderful and fantastic if it actually happens. And tough it was, because the two kids on my team went up rage quitting before the end. The only reason I even stayed in this lobby... Um, <laughs> they end up going, uh, between the two of them, like, 10 and 33, so 10 kills and fucking 33 deaths. Dude, that's rough. That's rough to try and come back from. Um, it really is, and, uh, and it has a deciding factor on the outcome of the end of the game, hint, hint. I don't know if you understand what that means or not. Um, but anyway, I woke up today, and... My back was shot, right? I, I mean, I've, I had, like, a little bit of an accident type thing, like, back in high school, and and I sublocated, like, four vertebrae um, in my back, and so I just have, like, a chronic back injury that just always will hurt for the rest of my life, um, and I don't really do anything to correct it. Like, I'm supposed to do, like, exercises and stretches and all, 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 all that jazz, but instead I just sit around and play video games all day, which isn't really good for my back. So I woke up this morning, and it was killing me. It was so bad, and I was... I was laying on the ground, you know, just trying to straighten out my back and and all that. I need to go visit my chiropractor or something. He's uh I haven't been there in quite some time and man, I'd really like I really like an alignment. And it's if you've never been to the chiropractor, it's just like the most amazing feeling when you go there. Uh all right, so when I went, I the, the thing I always got every time I went is I went and I got an alignment, which is where they like crack your back and straighten out your spine and I got this thing. I don't know what it's called. I call it like it's like electro stim or something like that, which sounds like it would be terrible. What they do is they, they hook up these things to your back and they shock you. Uh, <laughs> but it's like a very, very low like voltage or amperage or something. So it's just kind of like a tingling feeling going through your muscles. And when it's all done, your muscles are super relaxed. And you just you sleep like a baby <laughs> after that happens. Um, but I had to do that three times a week for a few months when I was in high school after I hurt my back. And uh, being in high school, I always tried to schedule it for the middle of the day so I could get out of school. I'd go to school for, like, my auto shop class and, like, one other class, and then I'd leave, and I tended not to come back after it. I was like, yeah, my back's in pain. I can't make it back because uh, cause sometimes you're sore after you get an alignment. And that's how that's how my the first, like, half of my senior year went was just 
hustling my way out of school because I was at the chiropractor because my back was all shot. But it's a serious. It was a serious thing. Like I, uh, for a couple days, I couldn't even get out of bed. Um, it hurt to breathe. Um, they at first I was like, no, my back is jacked up because I felt it pop when when I when I hurt myself, and. And they're like, well, so I went to the doctor, and they were doing all these tests, and they're like, we think your spleen is broken, uh, or something. <laughs> and, uh, and so they sent me to the hospital for an emergency CAT scan with this, this juice, with this, like, dye in it that made it so your bones glow, or your intestines show up, or, I don't know, but they, I couldn't eat, and I was starving, because I didn't eat before I went, and I had to drink this stuff, which was disgusting. And then when I got there, like, well, it's not going to be done in time, getting through your system, so we're just going to give you an IV anyway. And I absolutely hate needles, and it was terrible. I had to, so f for weeks because the reason they sent me because my spleen was fucked up is because or whatever, uh, it was like leaking something into my bloodstream. They thought, and so I had to go back. I had to go to the chiropractor all the time and get my back straightened out. And I had to go to the doctor and get blood tests taken uh, to make sure that I wasn't gonna die from some weird blood thing. Um, which ended up being fine. My levels normal normalized, n normaled out. They they kind of fixed themselves. I didn't have to have my spleen removed, but uh, but my back to this day, I'll wake up in the morning sometimes and it it hurts to breathe. Which if you've ever had that feeling, like if you've ever had bruised ribs or something like that or a broken rib, um, it's very very similar. Uh, <laughs> but except I feel it in my back and it's miserable and I, ca I can't laugh and. Nothing's fun when that happens, and that's just that's how things go for me sometimes. And that was like this morning, like I didn't want to do anything. I wasn't gonna make a video. I I woke up, laid there for a while, and then just laid on the floor, and and was miserable. And I don't know, that's a little bit better, you know. Maybe I'll go stretch or you know hang upside down and decompress my back, uh, make me a little bit taller, something a little bit more uh, attractive for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? If I if I go hang upside down, gain like four inches, be a uh, be six foot three. Oh, I just told you guys how tall I am on accident. Dang it. I was hoping that uh that my height would be a mystery. I kinda want you guys to think that I'm like five foot four and like two hundred and sixty pounds, just like completely round. But as you guys see, um I lost. I lost the game. I tried my ass off and I lost the game. And this guy was putting down this claymore. I mean he did alright, you know, he at least went positive. I'm glad the other two guys left, but I lost the game. Can't win them all. Sorry, guys. But if you enjoyed the video, please, please leave a like. And I upload content daily, so feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.